This is where Mario Lanza was born, 636 Christian Street in Philadelphia, in a third floor bedroom above his grandparents' home and their small grocery store. Mario Lanza dreamed of a singing career in this home, listening to his father's opera records and his mother's beautiful voice. My own singing career started when I was a boy working in my parents' Tarzuela company. That's our own music tradition. I had, you might say, one of those nice high voices you hear in young voice. Then it started to change, and I wondered if I'd come out the other side with a real voice. Mario Lanza must have gone through the same painful period. My moment of truth came when I was pushed out onto the stage to sing a solo, and out came a big sound. My father's face fell like this. <laughs> Mario Lanza, too, surprised his parents. They took him to the home of a well-known baritone and coach. His parents heard a voice coming from the music room, and they thought it was the maestro finishing with another student. The voice, of course, was their sons. From that day, his mother was determined that he will have the singing career she was denied by her strict father. While she worked long hours to pay for the lessons, the young man dreamed of a stardom. This is his high school notebook. His real name was Alfred Arnold Cocotza. Al Cocotza. But see here how he was looking for a stage name. Alfred Cocotza, Fred Lanza, Tony Cocotza, Anthony Cocotza. He took the masculine form of his mother's maiden name, Maria, and practiced writing it. Maria, Maria, Maria. Finally, Mario Lanza. <laughs> 